Hey everybody, it's Tanner, Mr. Great Crazy. Hope you're having a great Tuesday. For today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make this mini album. I know there's a lot of different ways to make mini albums, and this is a really simple way. But I like to do a mini album. First, I'll do a little flip through. Um, the paper I used for this is tags. I just made it out of tags that I got from Ranger, which will be available on some people's website hopefully soon for purchase. Um... There's stamps, all kinds of my stamps, and then here's one of my stamps, here's one of my stamps, here's one of my stamps, and here's one of my stamps, and that is my mom. So, um, then here's this mini album, and it has ribbon right here, so let me show you how to make it. So, first you need ten tags. One, two, okay, so I have ten tags here, and what you want to do is you want to get them all together right here. You want to sort of have them like this. And you need a Zutter Bond It All or a, or a something. I prefer the Zutter just because I have it. <laughs> to be honest with you, I just have it. And all you do is you just sit it in there between this little nook and this little nook. And you just chomp it down. Now you can create your own little thing for each one of these books that you do. Hold on my thing isn't stretched out <clears throat> okay so it's a little bit hard to punch and here's this right here all you need and then you want to do the other ones the same way I think you want like five in your little thing my mom is upstairs playing with the puppies and they kind of play really hard so if you're hearing barking I promise you they're not dying or anything okay okay so here's my zutter bond it all i know i've never really did a video on this product but i have had it for a while okay so after you have this right here they all line up perfect pretty perfect you want to have um some wire and this wire is 4.99 at hobby lobby so just a little FYI to anybody. Let's get our scissors. And this is the brass ones. Now on mine, I'm not. I wasn't opening a new pack just for it, but for you all, I'm going to. I wanted to show you everything for it. Okay. So here it is. You get one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can make six little um, 12 by 12 books. And all you need is you need to, literally all you do, you want to have it here and you just want to put them in their sleeves. I'm doing this Tanner way. I'm not doing it the right way. I haven't, I haven't even read the instructions how to use this stuff. It's pretty much just learning. And then you just cut it. You can use wire cutters. A lot of scissors don't cut, but these amazing Westcott ones are the only ones I've ever found to cut wire. And it cuts it really nice. So next, you want to get out your um, Distress Inks. Because this is a Ranger product. And so you can just put this stuff back in here. Or whatever. You can just really throw it in there. I have a whole drawer for wire and all kinds of products for Zutter in my closet. So I just put that back. And you just want to keep this ready for when you're going to clutch it. So I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to show you how to distress one of these on camera. Then I'm going to go off and do the other ten. So you want to get a nice mat area. You want to have a these two little things. And I'm not going to show you how to decorate it because all I did was take personal pictures and um, put some stickers and my stamps in there. So that's all. These are really simple to do. You can do them in under 40 minutes if you'll work hard. So these are really simple to do. Okay, so all I did was just ink around that. Really simple, really easy, fun to do. And then I'm just going to take these other ones and do the same thing. And I'm not going to take credit for this idea because I did come up with it in my mind. I honestly have never seen this anywhere, but I'm not just going to take credit for it in case it ever comes out that somebody else did it before me. So that's just out there and I'm going to ink these up and I'll be back. 
Okay, so now that I've got all these tags done, and they look amazing, if you do look at them, I don't know how good the camera's picking up with the lights. I have a lot of lighting in here. But here they are. I'll let you see them a little bit better. Let's get this out of the way, because we're done inking, and I ruined my mat by playing with stuff. So here they are. And you can just do all kinds of stuff on them. You can do any color you want. It doesn't really matter. So the next part is to take your wire. And you've got all these right here. Then you want to take your wire and just line it up. Go through here. And you want to look through these if you don't have your one. Like if I have the packaging that says one half. And you want to take this little thing and go to one half. And I'm already set at one half, so I can just leave it there. But if you don't have it there, they have it at four, one and one fourth, one inch. I mean, you can make a humongous scrapbook at this one and one fourth. That's huge. That's like, I'm sorry for my hands. I'm just going to flat out say I've been playing with paint this weekend. But mine is a one half let me find a one half so here's a one half and what you do is you just like take your stuff and you just like be like yeah this is it matches so that's it and this is what that's here to do and then it lines it up right on these little things so then you want to take this and this is the easy part you just want to sort of sit that in there and just clamp it and it will just like go together and there you go so now it's a little book and then you just like have this and then you can go through the book so it's really easy to do really easy to do and then the next part is to find your front of your book and the front of my book is right here this nice orange page. Get that out of our way. And you want to take some ribbon. I prefer the Pro 31 Design Ribbon because it's amazing. And I love Esmeralda. A very nice person. Out in my California friend. She has the best value on ribbon. That's Pro31Designs.etsy.com. And then you just want to take it. And if you're going to like, do it, if you're going to carry it around in your purse, which is what my mom wants this one for. You want to have it to go through the bottom hole. And want to have it like that. So you can, after you decorate all the pages, you can just tie this one. And you know, like on mine, where I did ribbon on each of the page, it kind of is thick. You could have definitely did a thicker knob of here because I think a three-fourths or a one inch would have did good on here or seven eight but I only have one half so that's really an easy way to make this and there will be pictures and um, everything on my blog the finished product that I did make if you did not watch the first part of the video and here it is just a little flip through just want to have some pictures and stuff so really simple so thanks for watching, Mr. C Crazy. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now.